he worked as a security, then he got like 100,000 followers and the company fired him. This is weird to say, but actually these small videos, this is very Instagrammable. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to What's On Your Feed. My next guest is Rahel Suskin. She's an amazing illustrator. I met her at the Great Circus Network at Port Portugal. Shout out to them. And now here she is. Hey, Hello. thank you so much for being here. This is very cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's maybe a little bit uh, funny. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. I assumed so. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, okay, I will start with a Smooth Mac Groove. <laughs> 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 I'm really into um, computer games and uh, I'm also really into computer game music. I really, really love it. And he, he's making a cappella versions of like almost every computer oh. game, you know, and it's so amazing. Yeah, and I can like show you some examples. He made this version. <laughs> Wow. It's so good. Uh, video game themes, and he did almost everything. I also uh, really love Zelda. Yeah. It's amazing. Awesome. I found a guy, he's an um, animator and a 3D artist, and he's from Australia. And he um, reanimated like Ocarina of Time. And he has some videos um, how he did it and stuff, like mm -hmm. technically, but also like like the end product of his uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time remake. Yeah, I think it's one of the best games. And when I saw this, I was like, whoa. Look how good and slick it looks and all, all the characters and stuff and yeah, I was super impressed. Wow, but so, okay, I, I'm a little bit confused. This was one person that made, that remade the whole, the whole game? Not the whole game, but sequences yeah. and he did it just for, for fun. Wow. Like, um, yeah, it's crazy. He did it just for fun um, and not like, because, uh, not for the company. Yeah, yeah. You can like how he's, how, how he's working. I, I have no clue of all this. This is crazy. Yeah, and it's my dream that the remake will come. Maybe because <laughs> of him. I mean, you get you get spoiled when you have the new games and often then the old graphics are like, ah. Yeah, totally. This is yeah. very impressive, wow. Yeah, he has like the characters. Insane. Yeah, uh, I followed this um, channel, Pink Kitty Rose. She have this walkthroughs from a lot of like older games like Metroid and Earthbound or Mega Man. And when they play like perfect, it's like, oh yeah, satisfying. Watching someone playing really well seems like a musician playing really well, right? Yeah, playing the piano like and yeah. Yeah, for me it's also really inspiring because the characters and the world, like the colors, the graphic is also pretty cool. Then she has uh, notes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, yeah, sometimes when I'm <laughs> when I'm a little bit depressed or or bored, then um, I found uh, this guy um, <laughs> on Instagram, but he also has a channel on uh, YouTube and on Twitch. Okay. Yeah. His name is Paul Flart, <laughs> and <laughs> he's, I think he's so awesome because he started to to post like one fart every day. One fart. Yeah, he worked as a security, then he got like 100,000 followers and, and the, the, the company fired him because of the fart videos. And it's so funny and um, also he, he's doing like gaming and Switch videos, Twitch videos where he's yeah. farting. Oh! But yeah, <laughs> I can show you some fart examples if you like. Please! <laughs> Holy! <laughs> it's always like that, and um, like every every day another fart video, and then he's like oh, like wow. gaming. <laughs> he's gaming and then he's farting all the time. <laughs> My God, he made it into an art, fart art. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool, man. Um, and yeah, I know, I mean, a lot of people think it's so disgusting, but uh, for me, it's like, yeah, 
I love uh, the videos having like six seconds, seven seconds. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that this exists. It's awesome. This is very yeah. new for me. Thanks. <laughs> That he gets so many followers, and before Corona, he also uh, planned to go on tour with his farts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet anywhere he goes, he he brings his farts. Yeah, right. I didn't know you could make a living of this on YouTube. This is great. <laughs> yeah, and I guess like on um, he has not so many um, followers here, but on Fa on Instagram he has so many, and I think on Twitch because he has this Twitch gaming channel. He has more. Yeah, this is this is weird to say, but actually these small videos of farts, this is very Instagrammable. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Yeah. I'm doing this comics you saw. Yeah. With um, I want to make my own story and try to finish like 150 or more pages this year wow. to become a book, and then I want to send it to publishers. Yes. And, and the characters, it's like a kind of homage uh, to the Russian animation from the past. What I wanted to show you, it's called Nupagadi, and it's from the 70s. I watch it often because it's, for me, like nostalgic, and okay. I watch it as a child, but also because I really, really like the style. I think it's pretty raw, and um, I think it's a so much cooler version of Tom and Jerry. Like, look at the cigarette he has in his mouth, and he's like, yeah. and watch like almost every Russian cartoon and I really like what he's doing now. He's trying to get to the um, rabbit and wait. He's thinking like, uh, and now look what he's doing. Well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's time really changed, right? Yeah, uh, you Great. cannot. Uh, no, not at all. Not even close. <laughs> yeah, not for children, no. Just wanted to show you um, the other character. Um, it's called Chiburashka. Ah, there, there's Chiburashka. And this is the other character I did my homage to in my comic. There he is. He's so cute. Yeah, and that's why yeah, I want just to show you that it's my homage and. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. You know, I didn't grow up on, on these cartoons. Yeah, and it's cool. Yeah. I think I think it's super funny uh, when you just type it in on YouTube, you can find them with subtitles and stuff. Yeah. I go to my next channels, and this is Jablinski Games. It's like a channel from Jack Black, the actor. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's super funny, and um, sometimes he, he's like playing with his children. He's doing like fitness videos ah. also. <laughs> Such a character. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't know he was on YouTube. I didn't know that at all. YouTube is very big. Oh my god, YouTube is... There are so many treasures. Yes. Uh, one of my next favorite channels, it's Adult Swim. One of my favorite shows on Adult Swim is the Tim and Eric Awesome Show. It's quite old, but I'm still uh, like watching them like during my breaks or something. I just watch them because I think they're so great. And yeah, I gotta go back to those. Yeah, rewatch them. So <laughs> good. And also what's really cool on the adults from channel is like that you have like opportunities. For example, like here's Lisa Hannawald. She has her own show to and Bergy. And Netflix didn't want the for a second season to produce, so Adult Swim said they do it, and you can get like some looks on the inside, like first drafts and stuff, and how they talk about, and then you can see like the raw, the rough sketch of new episodes. Awesome, awesome! I love that stuff. Yeah, me too. And then this is this rough sketch and story, and also with the um, voices. So beautiful and, already. Yeah, it's so I, cool. It's so funny. I, I think it's super cool. I'm, I'm super interested because I love cartoons so much and um, how, um, to look a little bit like behind the scenes or how is their workflow. And then I have another channel. This is Noah van Skyver and he's the cartoonist from, uh, from the US. 
and he has his own channel um, where he is talking to other comic artists uh, about their books or their work and yeah if you are into comics i can totally recommend this because i think it's super interesting to uh, listen to their workflows um, how they're also struggling even uh, they're, if they are like more famous yeah sure i have one one um channel I really admire uh -huh. and it's a channel which is trying to make people aware of animals so they're posting a lot of videos and they have a lot of playlists where people and different organizations rescue animals and it's like all kinds and types of animals like bats for example wow. and, and or alpacas not so nice because then they show show the animals before they got rescued like uh -huh. really like and, and sick and then yeah. after when they get fit again and then there was like this really cute video about wow. this bodybuilder who's like rescuing wow. chihuahuas he has like <laughs> i don't know how many chihuahuas he has so cute i really love chihuahuas <laughs> Me too. Like the Vin Diesel type of guy. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. a really cool channel. The dog. Awesome channel. Do you have a top five? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, maybe I think Paul Flart is my number one. Paul Flart? Yeah. The, the, the guy from the fart? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's really... How do you call it in English? Like, How do you, you call have, Yeah, it's beautiful and um, it's people think... I mean, a lot of people maybe think it's disgusting, but it's so honest and it's like... It is. I like disgusting stuff. So. I was hoping he would make it to the top five. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, adult Swim, after okay. it, because I'm totally into it. Great. The dodo, of course, because it's oh. so important. Uh -huh. Yeah, then I would go with the multikis with the Russian cartoons. Yeah. I think then smooth and groove. Oh, the first the one. The yeah. other guy. Awesome. That was a very cool feed. Thank wow. you. Awesome. Thank awesome. You awesome. So much. Uh, uh, <laughs> obrigado. Oh, that was perfect purchase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rahel. This was an amazing episode. <laughs> like, bye. Bye, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. bye. Ciao. <laughs>